What does your morning look like? And what I mean by morning is from the time you wake up to the time your day actually starts. Whether that's kids, school, work. You see, if I were to video your morning and post it to the Daily Dose, would we be left with inspiration or maybe something else? See, whether you're a business owner, a CEO, uh, you're a contractor, or heck, you're, you're, you're even a mother, if you want to elevate your day from being good to great, then follow these five steps. Number one, I want you to wake up. That sounds easy, right? Well, one of my favorite jokes is God created sleep. The devil created the alarm clock. 30% of all the world wakes up between 6.30 to 7 o'clock. That's funny because you get to work at 8, all right? You, you wake your kids up at 7 o'clock. You got to get them to school by 7.45. That leaves you time for what? Wake up. And this is the first step. I want you to wake up an hour before your day actually starts. It, to finish these steps two through five, you have to do that. You have to wake up an hour early before your day actually starts. Okay, number two, I want you to be excited. Say it with me. I'm excited, right? I always hear, oh, I'm not a morning person. I think that's funny because we don't have a choice whether we want a morning in our day or we don't want one. Uh, God is not asking us if we want decaffeinated. You're going to have a morning be excited about it. Start visualizing how your day is going to go, how you're going to handle problems. Number three, I want you to plan. Do you have a planner? Do you have a way to plan your day? Or let me ask you this, do you know anyone that moseys around their entire day without a plan or purpose? Okay, have a plan. It gives you purpose in your day, and you're actually going to accomplish a lot more than you ever have before. And guess what? You're more likely to do them as well. Number four, I want you to spend time reading and spend time with someone you want to become. I read every morning. It's essential to the man that I want to become. I read the Bible and I spend time with the Lord. And the reason why I do that, and I read John Maxwell, Dennis Watley, Zig Ziglar, and the reason I do that is because I want to become more like these people. I spend time, it creates positivity, right? Is there, who do you want to become? Is there something you want to be good at? Is there something you want to learn? Spend time reading in the morning. It will create that environment of positivity and you'll see, actually start visualizing where you're going and you see other people do it, right? And number five is show up on time. You see, people struggle with showing up on time just as much as they do uh, waking up in the morning. The snooze button, right? I wish there was a snooze button for showing up on time for work. I get you. Uh, do you show up at work five minutes early or five minutes late? You know, showing up on time says a lot about you. John Maxwell says that more important to how you spend your money is how you spend your time. You see, it gives you a sense of power. Uh, it, it, John Maxwell again says... Uh, uh, being organized gives you a sense of power. So by waking up, by showing up at work on time, it's going to give you a sense of power. You're going to show up and people are not going to say, oh man, he's late. And they're going to be like, man, dude, seriously, they're going to say, man, you the man. You are in control. You are a master of your time. And you're going to have a sense of self-confidence and you're going to have a sense of power. Man, follow these five steps so you can elevate your day. So your day can go from just average, from good, to great. This is Cody, your car guy here for your daily dose of sales training, motivation, and hope.